thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, we'll be discussing how to use Construction Suite to manage your certificates for contacts. These certificates will include insurance, licenses, and bonds that you would like to keep on file for your vendors, subcontractors, or other contacts. To access existing certificates or enter information for new ones, you'll need to select a contact in Construction Suite to access the contact summary. In this case, we'll use Abernathy Brothers Supply for our example. So we'll click on that and it'll take us to our summary and we can see our certificates here right in the middle of the page. From here you can see that we have existing certificates for a bid bond, steel and re reinforcing license, and workman's comp insurance. If we would like to add new certificates, we can do so choosing the add certificate link below. If you don't have access to this feature, it's likely because insurance checking is only present starting at the residential premier product level or a commercial equivalent such as Catalyst. If you're interested in obtaining these features, be sure to contact a product specialist to find out what you need to do to obtain a qualifying version. As you can see, if you select the Add Certificate link, it will take you to the Edit Contact form where you can modify the existing certificate details or add a new certificate. With Construction Suite, you can track information including certificate type, such as insurance, license, or bond, the amount of the certificate, the expiration, and the certificate number. Once you've entered certificate information, these details will be stored for your benefit and Construction Suite will remain aware of the certificate status of each contact. For example, if you're assigning a resource to a task in a schedule, such as footers labor, and in this case, let's just go ahead and we say Abernathy Brothers Supply, they have valid insurance certificates or bonds, so we will just go ahead and select OK and nothing will happen. However, if we're assigning a contact or a resource that doesn't have valid insurance or certificates, say for example for footers material we're going to assign Ajax Supply, we will be notified that Ajax Supply has no certificates and ask if we would like to continue. So as you can see, Construction Suite is always aware of the contact certificate status and it lets you know when you try to assign these resources or contacts whether or not they have valid or up-to-date certificates, insurance, licenses, or bonds. In addition to notifying you if a contact's insurance or certificates are expired or invalid, Construction Suite will also inform you if a contact's insurance or certificates are expiring within a certain number of days from the task. For example, if we come into Footers Inspection and try to assign Ms. Alice Gorey as a resource, we will get a notification saying that Alice Gorey has or will have expired liability insurance, driver's license, and bid bond. Would we like to continue? In this case, we can go ahead and say OK. Maybe we'll check in with Miss Alice Gorey before that expiration comes up and get updated information, and we'll say that she's just fine for now. Now, you can set the warning period for certificates through the Tools, Options, and Certificate Options menu within Construction Suite, and you can see here that the default is to be warned 30 days in advance of expiring insurance or bond certificates. You can certainly modify this to be whatever period you would like. If you would like it zero days or 60 days or any number in between, you can certainly do whatever number fits your preferences. Now, if you would like to generate a report for your certificates based on type, status, or contact, this can be generated from the main Construction Suite interface by going to Reports and then Certificate Report. As mentioned, you can choose which contacts or projects will be included on the report. In this case, we can select Abernathy as our contact. And then we can also choose the type of certificates we would like to include, as well as the state of the certificate. So if we want to do valid certificates for Abernathy Brothers, and we can then filter by date, we can go ahead and generate this. And you will get a report for individual bonds for Abernathy Brothers, one for insurance, and then one for licenses as well. Insurance tracking is a key component to making sure that a project runs smoothly and that you and your workers are always covered should something ever arise. With Construction Suite, you now have the ability to take full control over your insurance tracking and never get caught off guard. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.